Yo, 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 what's up guys? How's it going? It's your boy, the Origami Ninja, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to fold this awesome looking butterfly. All right, so check it out, guys. This is the butterfly we're going to be folding today. As you see, it's a pretty cool looking model, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we start guys, I wanted to go ahead and congratulate the winner of who found the Origami Ninja logo three times in the last tutorial and wrote down the exact time of when they appeared in the comments down below. So the winner of last week's tutorial goes to Phoenix. Congratulations, you are the winner. Thank you so much for participating and for being part of this channel. Your support means the world to me. So now guys, the real question is, who will win next? So don't miss out on your chance of getting your name shouted out in the next tutorial by participating in this game. So let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial. So these are the things that you're gonna need to be able to complete this model. Okay, so we're going to be needing one square sheet of paper and two strips of paper. All the measurements will be provided to you here in a second. We're as well going to be needing something that's going to be thinner than a pen. I'm using a brush. Then we're going to need a pen, tape or glue stick, and a ruler. So make sure to have all these things. And once you do, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. So for the first step, we want to go ahead and fold the paper in half. We're going to do that by folding the left bottom corner towards the top left corner. Alright, now let's crease it down. Once it's nicely creased, what I want you guys to do next is open this paper back up. And then I want you guys to go ahead and fold this bottom left corner towards this middle crease. Once you got those two corners nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. And now let's repeat the same steps to this top left corner. We want to fold it towards the middle crease. Alright, so once you've done that and it's nicely creased, what I want you to do next for the following step is grab the ruler and a pen. And now we want to measure from the right side edge towards the left two inches and a half. Once we have that measured, we want to go ahead and mark it with our pen as a reference point so that we, we could create our next fold. All right, as you see, it measures two inches and a half from here to here. So let's go ahead and draw our reference points right here on both flaps. Once you drew your reference points, you want to draw a line from here to the bottom left corner and from here to the top left corner. By doing this, guys, you'll notice that when you crease the paper, it'll already be kind of pre-creased due to the amount of pressure that you've applied with your pen. So be very careful, don't apply too much pressure when you draw these lines because then it might rip your paper. But by applying just enough, it'll make your next folds a lot easier. So let's go ahead and create a valley fold along these lines that we just drew. All right, now I want you to grab a ruler and a pen and we're gonna be measuring from the right edge towards the left and marking it at three inches. All right, so pay close attention to what I'm doing. As you see, I got the three inch line on the right side edge, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark it right here at the beginning of the ruler. I'm gonna mark it with a little line. And then I want you to do the same thing to the top flap. Just like we did before, but three inches instead of two inches and a half. Now, I want you to draw a line from here to the top right corner, and from here to the bottom right corner. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you got your two reference points nicely aligned, let's go ahead and create a line. And once you've done that, let's repeat the same steps to the top section. Get them nicely aligned, then draw your line. All right, so once you drew both of those lines, we're gonna go ahead and create a valley fold 
along both of these lines. So let's go ahead and start with the bottom one. Once you got that done, let's go ahead and do the same thing to this top section. All right, so once you've done that, this is what yours should look like. Now I want you guys to rotate it towards the right. And now for the following step, we're gonna be folding this bottom edge towards this little middle section right here. Once you brought it towards that middle section, make sure that this crease aligns nicely with the top crease as well, and then crease it down. Now for the following step, we wanna fold this bottom edge towards this top edge right here. and make sure to crease it down nicely. As you see, the middle creases align. And now we're gonna repeat the same step that we just did. We wanna fold this bottom edge towards this middle section. And once you've done that and you got it nice little line, make sure to crease it down really, really good. There's a lot of layers of paper uh, in this section and it needs to be creased down really, really good. So take your time and make sure that you've got it nicely creased. Now I want you to go ahead and open the section back up. All right, so for this following step, I want you to pay close attention. Using this existing crease that you see right here, we're gonna go ahead and create a valley fold. Now we wanna create a mountain fold along the following crease. So along this crease right here, we'll create a mountain fold. And now we're gonna create a valley fold. So it's valley fold, bouncing fold, valley fold, bouncing fold. And you just keep doing that until you reach the middle crease. All right, so once you've done that to your final crease, this is what yours should look like. So as you notice, it kind of looks like stairs. So that's exactly what yours should look like. So now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same pattern that we just did, the same folds, all the way to the top. So you're gonna flip it over, create a mountain fold, fold it downwards, just like this. And we're gonna hold on to this top section, we're gonna flip it over, and then we're gonna bring this section up and then create a valley fold. And then just keep repeating the same steps over and over again. A valley fold, a mountain fold, a valley fold, a mountain fold, until you reach the very top. All right, so once you're done doing all those folds, this is what yours should look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rotate it towards the right because it should be facing in this direction, as you see here. So your small one should be down, this one should be upwards. And then this strip right here, 
the pink strip is going to go on the top section. But before we do that, what you want to do is we're going to be folding this right side edge towards the left edge, making sure to create a crease right along the middle of the strip. All right, so once you mark the middle section of that strip, what I want you guys to do next is grab the smaller strip and some tape. All right, so let's go ahead, let's grab this little strip, and we wanna put tape on both on both edges. So you wanna make sure that your, your tape is the same thickness as your strip. All right, so now that the strip has tape on both edges, what you wanna do next is you wanna grab this pink strip and you wanna grab your butterfly wings. And what you wanna do next is you wanna line that middle reference point with the middle of the butterfly wings. So both, both of these pieces of paper will have a crease right along the middle section. You wanna make sure to align them just like this. See how there's a crease right there? You wanna make sure to align it nicely. And once you got it nicely aligned, what you wanna do next is you wanna grab your little strip and we wanna start off by taping down the bottom section of the butterfly. So let me show you guys really quick. We're gonna start off by taping this bottom section first and you wanna make sure that your strip is right down the middle of that crease, just like that. See how it's aligned? All right, so once you've done that, you wanna make sure that this pink middle section is aligned as well with the middle crease. Then with the strip, you wanna make sure that it's nice and tight. You wanna wrap it around the butterfly. Once you wrapped it around, go ahead and tape it down so that it doesn't come apart. Alright, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and start shaping the wings. So as you see, you want to spread these two sections apart, just like this, and be very careful when you do this. You, you don't want to rip your piece of paper apart, so be very careful. Alright, so once you've stretched those wings out, this is what yours should look like. So now let's go ahead and work on the antennas. Now for this following step, I'm gonna be using a brush. This happens to be thinner than a pen, and that's what you wanna use, something that's thinner than a pen. You're gonna grab the edge of, of this little strip and then ro roll it up just like this so that it creates a nice little artistic flare, and they're not just, just nice and straight, it actually has a nice little curve to it. And you wanna make sure to stop at this little point right here. So keep rolling until that point. And once you've done that, then go ahead and kind of stretch them upwards and then this is what yours should look like. So now let's repeat the same steps to the next one. All right, so this is the final step of the butterfly. If you are done with yours and it looks just like this, then congratulations on completing this tutorial. I am super happy for you and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you if you did, just make sure to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And when you do subscribe, make sure to click the bell button. That way it notifies you as soon as I release a new tutorial. And for those that would like to continue watching some more of my tutorials, just click any of the following images here on the screen and we'll forward you to the tutorial. All right, guys. Well, thank you once again and have a great day.